Hi, we are looking at uh, Indo-Israel uh, business relation uh, more towards uh, uh, investment banking part. So, uh, a very uh, important part of the business relation is uh, the defense industry because uh, uh, India has turned out uh, in this decade uh, to be a heavy exporter of uh, uh, foreign arms. And in that respect, uh, uh, India needs uh, uh, not just the technology but also the entrepreneurship skills because the other model that uh, India was following uh, of the Soviet uh, was a government-controlled uh, defense industry. So in that part, we are going to see a lot of entrepreneurship uh, activities going around in India. Things would be transferred to Reliance, Tata's and uh, other uh, uh, companies in India and, and that's where the defense investment uh, banking would become a new field in India and that's uh, one part where uh, Israel is uh, very good at. So uh, in, in this part of uh, my research I focused on a few aspects of uh, corporate finance and capital structure. So when we look at the importance of leverage uh, and this is an uh, interesting thing because uh, uh, the way in which uh, Indian markets uh, work where uh, leverage is not uh, considered helpful and uh, people would uh, rather keep 100% equity in the company. So, how to play around with leverage is, is one part and the cost of leverage in India and Israel again in one part because of the inflationary environment. Uh, the other part is the return methodology. Do you never see something like share repurchase uh, just because uh, uh, levered share repurchase is uh, expensive but uh, are we looking at cheap equity in India when we compare at uh, inflation? The other part is uh, defining trade and business on a macro perspective, on macroeconomic perspective. So there are risks and uh, those risks are governed by small wars uh, like uh, the wars uh, uh, that could happen, limited military uh, conflicts and both nations face uh, nearly the same kind of risk. So from a valuation perspective, uh, that part uh, of uh, political risk is uh, uh, quite interesting to analyze. and. Uh, and, and in terms of uh, how would uh, the scenarios change and how would affect the valuation of companies and the risk is uh, something that uh, we have looked into. So that, that was a part about uh, uh, the leverage return on capital tactics and uh, uh, macro risk um, in terms of terrorism and uh, uh, the chances of uh, limited warfare which is more because uh, these companies are surrounded by quite uh, uh, volatile uh, neighbors. So th th that was about my research. I I would uh, come on uh, and talk uh, a lot more about this uh, in my coming videos. Thank you for watching.